Hey guys, welcome back to part 18 of Resident Evil Village. Let's play. And uh, let's play. <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> end this. This is your last chance. Yes, but I don't have much money. This may be our last meeting. Be sure you have all you need. Oh shit. Okay, so sell, 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 sell. Ooh, 45,000? Nice. 60,000? Damn. Okay. I didn't manage to get the other one. I I know where that is. I kind of figured it out later, but now it's too late. I cannot go back. So just a GG. Oh, I can sell a cigar. Cigar made in Cuba. It's really damp. Heisenberg's hammer. A giant hammer made from machine parts is totally heavy to use. Alright. Oh, oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Nice. 300,000? Damn. Ah, because of all this, please be well. Thanks. Can I go back? Can I go anywhere? I cannot. I cannot. Ooh. I can see the horse. Holy shit, look at this horse. It's huge. As you wish. Alright. What I need. Money nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay. Now I can upgrade everything. Although, my question is, I don't have the money to do reckless spending, man. Shit. Hmm. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> you can practically just upgrade every single thing in this category. But I want to upgrade my Magnum. This to me. Upgrade this. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Buy me some of these shotgun shells. Buy me some ah. sniper rifle ammo, some and gun ammo. What's this? Oh fuck! Okay, I didn't know about this one. Uh, whatever. I gotta buy it next time. Um, new game plus maybe? I don't know. Shit! Didn't upgrade all the things here. Uh, maybe I could have saved more. I mean, I literally can't. Like, I, I don't have any more treasure with me. I tried my best to conserve as much, but oh well. Ah, okay. Holy shit, look at this. Almost like 200,000 for this uh, Magnum. Bonne chance. Bonne chance? I don't know what that means, but okay. I have like nine magnum uh, rounds. Okay. I think I have enough firepower to take on the boss. I think so. Alright. Oh, yeah, I should have enough. Like magnum ammo, grenade launcher, sniper rifle, shotgun shells. I got it all. So now I'm gonna dump everything. I have to dump everything on this boss. This is the moment. This is the moment. Look, look at this. Look at the amount of fucking ammo I have. Holy fuck. Uh, wait. There. Much better. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Gotta go back. I need to get me another of this. Uh. 
uh, first stage. The Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. Why not? You know what I mean? I don't need money. I don't need money anymore. Not for this playthrough. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Look at this thing, man. Crazy. Alright. It is fucking time to end it. It is time to end it. You take out Miranda. Again, I don't want to waste all my ammo on this losers here. I gotta keep going. Uh, oh boy. My beautiful daughter. Come to me. Is that you? That's a screenshot. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. What? Give Rose to me. No! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Uh. Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. Time to use my explosive. I've never seen a human without sight. Let my seat save me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Come on! <laughs> I 
I'm dumping everything. Where? Is she dead? Nope. Uh oh, I don't see anything. <laughs> now, oh. Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Well, if I combine Rose with the Middle Mice, my daughter will be made manifest at last. And if we do a century, all for this day. Fucking die! I gotta do this whole thing again. Fucking hell. I'm getting so much. I'm getting like I'm using a lot of uh, health. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. <laughs> Where are you? Here's my magnum. Hmm. 
Wait. Okay, never mind. Now it's too dangerous. I think it's time you let us out in my place. Rest now. The hell I will! I will break back my daughter! If I combine Rose with a mega my daughter will be made manifest! At last! I've waited a century! A century! All of the best of me! I can take any form I desire. Why do you do that? Sure, I have no need to die. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not a real love. I think we got her. We got her. Oh shit! Rose! Shh. Shh. It's, it's alright, Rose. It's alright. What about Ethan? Oh no, oh no, 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 come on! No! Shit! No, come on, don't do this. Don't let Ethan Ethan die. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Oh no, it's not finished yet. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck is... Punch it, punch it, punch it, bomb. Use, use, use the whole thing, bomb thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Exactly. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. 
I'm so sorry. No, come on. Come on. Ethan! Hey. Ethan! No! Hey. You tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. Come on, Ethan! Don't give up now! Goodbye, Rosemary! Ethan... No. No, 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 no. No, come on. Capcom, why do you do this? I don't want this thing to die. Come on. No. I got to print the figure, right? Yep. Oh god. Rose. Go. Go, take us up now. Wait. Where is he said? Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Holy shit! SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bio weapon. What? what the hell were they thinking? What is? Is that like? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. Man. Oh no, come on. That's how you end it? Oh. Well. Okay, so, uh, holy shit, a lot happened. Um, why would you kill Ethan? God damn it! This can't be happening. Like, like, legit, I was thinking Ethan would be like a mainline character. Because he was in Resident Evil 7 and Village. And he did so much. As a civilian, no doubt. And, I mean, no less. You know? Um, but I don't know, like he sacrificed himself and all, very heroic, but I didn't want him to die, man, come on. He would have done something else, like he, he could have just fucking out. 
And then there was the uh, the BSA sending bioweapons, like this uh, the guy that was dead. Uh, I remember him from the movie Resident Evil. Like he was a really giant guy, bald, really powerful. Like, you know, there were some liquors. It involved some liquors. He was fighting with liquors and uh, he just basically crushed him. There was Leon as well. Forgot the name of this uh, bioweapon here, but anyway. BSA is supposed to be the good guys, right? So I'm not sure, like, why they sent bioweapon to take out this whole uh, Miranda and. I don't know. I don't know. Well, this, I guess, sets up events for Resident Evil 9 sometimes later down the road. And also, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know who they're gonna, who they're gonna like, portray for the next Resident Evil. Because, like, Ethan, they killed Ethan, both in the game and Capcom. So, either it's gonna be Chris, maybe Leon. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! Oh. So mother bore their child to safety, as the forest was consumed. Oh, okay. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Oh. Alright, let's enjoy the credit, then I'm gonna talk about it.
if that front clears the credit scene, I can now talk over it. Oh boy. Oh, false credit. Let's hear it. Wait, is that Rose? Grown up? I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon. Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Eight Rose spines you and. You're being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is. Yeah, that's Rose, maybe. That's Ethan's coat. Holy shit! She kind of looks like Mia, right? Yeah. Oh man. Hey, Dad. Yep. Happy birthday. A kind husband and loving father who put family before something. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Uh, it's that. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. Duty calls? Are you part of. I love you. The uh, BSA or Umbrella Corps or something like that? Yeah, I found her. Wait, is that. Where else? Is that Leon? Day of all days. No, this can't be Leon. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn? Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's oh, just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Whoa. Hey, that, that's not... We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Who, uh, who was that guy? I don't think it's Leon. I don't... he doesn't look like Leon. But then again, Chris doesn't look like Chris. You know, he looks different. But what is that? Up at the... I don't see it. Someone's walking towards the car. The father's story is now done. No! Fuck you, Capcom! Why did you do this? <laughs> Why? Why? Ethan was a cool character. He could have continued his storyline, you know what I mean? Or just uh, keep kept him like a mainline character, as a main character, you know? One of, one of the main characters in the game. Uh, I mean, you did a really good job with the game, absolutely no doubt, but come on. Ethan! We need Ethan. So we could have kept Ethan, rotated with Chris and Leon and, you know, the way you do things. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I guess like, uh, well, her, her her his his daughter is here, Rose. So maybe she can be the next quote unquote protagonist for the next game, Resident Evil Nine. I don't know. I don't know. Could be. And I don't know the whole deal with this uh, taking her to to the car. I mean, obviously, she joined up with Chris and other uh, in his corporation. So. Huh. Okay then. Uh, world's best dad, best dad ever, great dad. Okay, so I guess I get the achievement. Uh, all right. So the difficulty is hardcore. Completion time is twelve hour and forty minute. Not bad. The game's chunky, right? The way I played it, I tried to do all the side quests. There were some extra bits left, like killing those big monsters. Uh, two giants. And a werewolf, but yeah, 
I would only get some money from them, so it doesn't really matter. But other than that, I try to do as much of the game, uh, uh, do as much of the game as I can, which I did. Um, but yeah, um, excellent game, excellent game so far. Well, uh, from what I played uh, from the start to beginning, it is uh, from the beginning to the end, absolutely awesome. Um, worthy successor to Resident Evil Seven. Uh, and you know the whole first person perspective really um, they nailed it. You know the whole combat system, the full movement, even in the cutscenes, you really feel like you're Ethan. You know, you're really immersed into the game, into the story, um, and all the scenes, the way they portray it, the jump scares or just the normal uh, horror sequences that are there. Uh, along with mixing it with combat sequences, first-person perspective does justice. This game does it justice. So Capcom really knew how to do this whole thing uh, properly. Now, I know some of you are still missing the third-person perspective because you know, Resident Evil was supposed to be third-person all the way from the very beginning till Resident Evil 6. But we are now venturing into new territory, exploring new grounds. Uh, trying new things out and you know so far with Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village we have seen that yes first person perspective can in fact work and has worked wonderfully so far okay yeah um, this game is awesome I'm, I'm sure you guys have already played through this game if not you've seen my playthrough and if you're still on the edge if you want to whether or not if you should buy the game or not absolutely if you were a Resident Evil fan, I'm sure you've already bought and played the game. If you're a horror game fan, or if you're looking for a great first-person um, action-adventure, well, the survival horror game, this game is for you, for sure. Just go for it. Once you've played this, you're going to go back and play other ones as well in the Resident Evil series. You might become a fan of the whole franchise, like I am, because Resident Evil is one of my most favorite game series ever. Uh, it's one of the best survival horror games, you know, to date. Silent Hill was there, but Silent Hill was kind of, it's kind of killed off now by Konami. Um, so yeah, Capcom, excellent job, as always. Uh, the game is really optimized to perfection. Uh, even with my uh, lower spec PC, well, I have like a like an ancient CPU. I have a 47 i7, 4790K, and my GPU is, my graphics card is uh, an NVIDIA GTX 1070 with 16 GB of, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Need to upgrade it at some point, but still, even with this configuration, I could still run the game above 60 fps most of the time there were some intensive areas where the fps would drop down a bit that's fine the, this is one of the uh next gen games so uh it's fine to get some fps drops because my hardware is not up to mark with the current gen games so i need to upgrade it as well still Really well done with the optimization. Visuals are stunning as usual. Capcom has done tremendous job making visually appealing games while optimizing them really, really, really spectacularly. Again, the story, the whole twist at the end or you know towards the ending uh, of the game was brilliant. Uh, also, the uh, the enemy variation was quite good, not bad. Uh, much better than Resident Evil 7. So we had lichens, we had other zombie-like creatures, we had boss fights, you know. And the whole level design was also really well done because you can just go back, uh, traveling from, like, exploring the castle, then the factory, then uh, those uh, the swamp, like the windmill area, um, and the dollhouse, you know, all of those places. You could, like, find some hidden loot, treasure, Enemies would drop loot, so it's rewarding to kill them. The gunplay was really satisfying. So when you just make the headshot, it feels pretty 
visceral, very punchy. The sound effect was also excellent. You know, everything about the game just is fucking perfect. Well done. Well freaking done. Um, again, if I had to rate the game, I would give it a 9 out of 10 easily. Okay. Um, I could just give it a 10 out of 10, you know. Um, but no game is perfect, so I'll just give it a 9 out of 10. Very high compliments. Very, very, very high compliments from me. And I don't really compliment a game unless, like, I absolutely am confident of its quality. So, yeah. Highly recommended. Anyone who's on the edge, go buy it. Just go buy it. It's worth every single penny. You know, I just have spent... You can spend, like, 12... 10 to 13 hours easily. Depending on how fast you play. How much you explore and stuff. Um, also... There's going to be a new game plus mode, I think, and another uh, higher difficulty mode called the Village of Shadow. So there's going to be some replay value. Uh, it's called, okay, so the Village of Shadow, a new difficulty level is available. The difficulty can be selected when starting a new game. Great. Uh, content, uh, unlocked content in the bonuses menu. The following has been added to the bonuses menu. Extra content shop, concept art, figures, and challenge. Oh, another thing uh, that's really well done is the NPC character interaction. So, especially Duke, the merchant. Like, you know, one of our most favorite merchants in Resident Evil Universe was from 4. You know, the, the merchant. <laughs> no one can top that. But after playing through Resident Evil Village, I think the Duke is on par with Resident Evil's 4 merchant. I mean, he even specifically made a voice line that, you know, what are you buying, right? So he said that he's a friend of the Resident Evil Force merchant. So that was interesting. Well, there's some link between the, that merchant and this merchant. But again, the Duke, absolutely awesome character. Like, and my, he's my favorite merchant now. And I think he's a fan favorite merchant as well. I'm seeing a lot of articles popping up, a lot of memes about him on Reddit, getting like thousands of upvotes and all. So yeah. Yeah, very good character. Chris is a redesigned model, also great. His voice acting is also great. Um, and the other villains here, right? The villains also have some personality with them. Not some, a lot of personality. From Lady Dimitris, I mean, you all, <laughs> you all know about that. She was one of the highlights in the trailers and all, I mean, for obvious reasons. I don't have to tell you that. Uh, also, uh, Heisenberg, yeah, Heisenberg was also cool. His motivation and all, yeah, uh, we felt it. Even though we killed him, his motivation was, he had his own interesting motivation for doing what he did. Uh, anyway, um, that's enough of me rambling. Let's see what I unlocked. Challenges and extra content shop. Complete challenges listed in the challenges menu in order to receive completion points. CP can be exchanged for a variety of bonuses in the extra content shop. New game mode, weapons, concept art, figures, etc. Ooh, new movies added. The following movies have been added to movies in the bonus menu. Village of Shadow full version. Ooh, okay. Creating the Village of Shadow, the level design of Resident Evil Village, the visual development of Resident Evil Village, the visual production of Resident Evil Village. Oh, okay, so some behind the scenes footage. Excellent. Special weapon. You can now get the following weapon from the extra content shop for finishing the main story. WCX. Uh, hand cannon PZ. Oh, okay. Um, so for finishing the game on at least hardcore difficulty. Yeah. So I finished the game on hardcore difficulty and I always want to play all my games at the highest difficulty as I can. From the get-go, there are some exceptions, like if this is a new game, sometimes, you know, uh, under certain difficulty, it can be overwhelming. And if I'm, like, playing under uh, recorded settings, so, like, I'm uploading my gameplay on YouTube for new viewers, you might get bored watching me die over and over and over again, right? It might get a little frustrating. I try my best, of course. I mean, you know, uh, you saw my gameplay. Uh, if it's near to the... Uh, my channel, you won't, 
you'll get familiarized with how I play, very meticulous uh, with how I play. With, you know, and I consider myself a, a, a good gamer. So that's why I try to challenge myself as much as I can uh, with you know highest difficulty a game has to offer. So same for uh, this game, Pulse. I'll try uh, Halo Master Chief Collection next with uh, not legendary, maybe like heroic. We'll see. But yeah, uh, I get rewarded for it. Also, challenge completed. Okay, let's see. You have completed the following challenges. Completion point CP can be used to purchase items in the extra content shop in the bonus menu. Oh, so this is probably like um, the achievements I got, and as well as well achievements I got from the activities that I did, including kill killing boss, collecting certain things and stuff, and doing certain activities. Okay, so I got like. 140, is it like uh, 114,000 CP? Okay, so override as complete data. When you load the completed data, some things will carry over from your completed game. Save, I'll just save it from this slot, the first slot, and completed data, save success. Okay, okay, so I guess I can do a new game plus mode, maybe? Ooh. Okay. Wait, where's the new game plus though? Oh right, I can just select the uh, save file, I guess, and then uh, continue from there. Okay, it's Village of Shadows. I don't know what <laughs> what's, what is Astrosha has to offer, but I'm guessing it's gonna be more difficult enemies with more bullet sponge, like harder to take down. Uh, stuff like that, and I get the bonuses and all. All right, so that's it for this part. Uh, this will conclude Resident Evil Village Let's Play with me, Game Ripper. I will see you guys in another game. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I will do two more new games. Uh, oh wait, uh, Days Gone has been released, so I might start playing Days Gone. I'll also be playing Halo Master Chief Collection and I'll try a platformer game, um, Ori and the Blind Forest, I'll try that one as well. So yeah, look forward to those games and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, uh, if you like my content, do feel free to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, it will help my channel grow. So more people can view my content and enjoy it just like you, hopefully. Um, so yeah, until the next time, take care. Bye.